but on that on the alternate. Do other people hit you up on that for certain things? Huh? For what though? They hit you up for books. Exactly. So if you laugh up and I'm ring ring ring. Count money while they ring ring ring. Trap jumping on ring ring ring. And they go through your phone and find his number in that phone. Guess what they gonna try to do? We in the slots, we in the sticks. On the corners where them brothers drop a couple bricks. But dice with the law if you live in the sin. The spirit gonna burn with the skin that you win. And the Lord ain't your friend if you really don't repent. He might just forgive, but it really just depends. Keep going off again and again. You should really chase the kingdom, but you rather buy them rims. If you living as a criminal, the lower apprehend. Cause you love living wicked just to chase some dividends. Please don't hold that L cause we looking for wins. I hold my head high. Not even that. I, I see what you're saying now. But even when it goes to that kind of play, you feel me? The even dabbing to that is not what we should be. Understand that's the hot thing right now. I know it's not. It's the hot I thing to do other like. than being on the block. You feel me? But eventually it's gonna catch up to you if you don't stop. If you don't stop, it can catch up to you. I don't want it to catch up to you, but if you keep playing around. Hey, hey, man, uh, I have yet to meet a person to run faster than the bullet. You can run fast, but the bullets fly even faster. And I don't want you to be in no shootout or anything crazy like that, because if you try to bust back, now mind you, you're looking at a person that deal with this. I deal with weaponry and all this stuff. So I can tell you, we ain't practicing like that at the gun range to make sure our points are on shot. We want to put the little thing on the back of that thing and make it go Vroom. Yeah. Not knowing that that recoil make your hand go up, you missed everybody you was aiming at. You don't hit the innocent bystander sitting night now, and that's what I'm saying. That's why we come out here to teach our people who we are, because we will literally get caught up in the things that we should not be in. Why? Because we are in a position that we don't want to be in. Guys don't want to go work a nine to five. They consider that slow money. We don't want the slow money. We want to get the fast money. But even with the fast money, what are we doing with it? How much property you don't bought since you done did it? You feel me? Our mind's not even on the right thing when we get it. But you know what I'm about to go through? I'm about to go throw it up somewhere though. Out of your word, that's what I'm saying. Because no matter where you go, this curse is on the most high gonna follow you. To deal with your roots. Now, going over to Trinidad, you ain't trying to be no passport bros, are you? All right, because you're really going out to figure out your roots, not, not, not realizing this is your roots right here. Right. This is your roots. Because when they stepped off that boat in Trinidad, what language did they speak? Exactly. You say you Levi, what language did the Levites speak when they stepped off them ships? Sis. What language, did, what language did the Levites speak when they stepped off them ships? Huh? They weren't speaking Creole. Creole is broken French. You feel me? Trinidad speak the British tongue. The Negroes over here speak English. But this is where in our original language, we spoke Hebrew. You, you feel me? How do I know this? Because certain words we still got to this day. Kumbaya. What, what is that? That's Hebrew. That's Hebrew all day. Abracadabra, believe it or not, is also a Hebrew word. You feel me? When we used to say Masa, they thought it was a broken English. We can't pronounce master. No, Masa is a Hebrew word for oppression. Right. Or oppressor. That's how we understand these things. We got more books than this, you feel me? But at the end of the day, the Bible is the end all and say it all. Give me Isaiah 28 and 10. You got it? Look, Isaiah chapter 28. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 10. For precept must be upon precept. Verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom shall the most high teach knowledge to? Keep going. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? So the Bible is full of doctrines. How are we going to understand the wisdom and knowledge understanding in this book? Keep going. 
them that are weaned from the milk uh -huh. and drawn from the breast. You got to go like you were just saying. You can't give a baby meat. You got to be born or uh, return learned again by getting the milk. The first five books is the milk of the understanding the wisdom of the Most High. Keep going. For precept must be upon precept. So that's one reason why we jumping around in the scriptures. We going back and forth. You feel me? We might read about the scripture here and the scripture there because that's precept upon precept. Here read. Precept upon precept, uh -huh. line upon line, yep. line upon line. So precept upon precept, line upon line. That's why we going back and forth. You got that? Sorry. Read that for me. The book of Ecclesiastes. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 12. Further, by these, my son, be of, of admonished of making many books. Yeah. Hold on. Now, the reason why I say that, because there's many books out here. But which ones are we going to get our wisdom and understanding from? Exactly, the Bible. Now, some people might not believe in the Bible. We just had to do walking the sword talking about he's an atheist. Right. You feel me? But when I hear it with simple things, he can't even, what you say? You say Allah? We were just discussing that earlier. What does the word Allah mean? Huh? God, you say, what you say? Oh, believe it or not, the word Allah, you say God, but in actuality, it means power. How do we know this? Because the word Israel in Hebrew is Yashur Allah, the prince of the power. The Allah part means power. The children of Israel is the prince of the power. That's why I say ye are gods. God. We're supposed to be the gods of this earth. Right. Right. But since we don't want to keep the commandments, guess what they look at it as? Ignorant, stupid, and slow. You feel me? When we out there doing what they want us to do to make that fast money, they laughing at us. Jew and I had a song called Laughing at Your Itches. You feel me? And that's all they do. They sit back in their mansions and they laugh at us. Every time there's a shootout and we're killing each other over nonsense, they laughing at us. Isaiah 1 and 3. There's a reason for that. Come on. You got it now? Read that there. Book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Come. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Do what? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Keep going. No one of these shall fail. Did you believe this Bible is full of prophecies? And I can read a couple of them that you can see on your day-to-day -day life. You feel me? That you can't get around. That's why I say, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies in this book is not going to fail. One of the prophecies that haven't failed, and I can ask anybody out here this, just how he asks you, what's your nationality? What is your nationality, if you don't mind me asking? Huh? You feel me? Now, the other people called that landmass that name. But he just told you who you are. You are children of Israel from the tribe of Benjamin. That's who you really are. But our people don't live. Hey, bro. Bro, with the hat on, real quick question for you. What's your nationality? African. African. Are you from Africa? Yeah. Where at in Africa? Chad. Huh? Chad. 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 Chad Africa? Wow. Out of all the people to pick out, a Chad Africa. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Chad. But you see, he, he called out his place in the landmass. Yep. But what she said, she said, Haitian, Trinidad, and Cuban. You, you giving me two names, you feel me? But why do we do this? If I would ask him, he'll tell me African American him. I, I might want to ask this too. I don't even know if you understand. I can't say it in Spanish that clearly. But next person walk by, I'm gonna ask. Well, read that for me, huh? Yeah, I gotta learn a little bit more Spanish. Read that for me. Isaiah one and three. Yeah. Book of Isaiah chapter one and verse three. Hold on. Now you still got time because I don't want to hold you up now. Because hey, hey. because believe it or not, when you stand here, you covered by the angels. Right. That's right. That's the powerful part about it. Because I heard you earlier talking about, man, I don't want to stand still, man. They watching me. No, no, they not watching. Yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, the most I make my neck invisible. Hey, bro, bro, with the hat on. Quick question for you. What's your nationality, if you don't mind me asking? What's your nationality? Quick question. American? <laughs> Come on, man, real talk. Jamaica. Now see, we, we do this to each other. You got time real quick? Next time? When, when is the next time? You only pay your cell phone bill once a month, so. Next time we say we'll come here every week, every day. Every day? All right, all right, read that photo. 
Book of Sukkot. Angel protected or the ox? Okay. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. Yep. And the ass his master's crib. An ox know who his owner is, and a donkey know where he stays at. But what? But Israel. But who? But Israel. Keep going. Doth not know. My people doth not consider. We never considered one time where we really come from. Not once. That's one of the prophecies written of in the Bible. You feel me? Thought we came from. Let's get the motherland. Let's show them what the motherland. What you say the motherland is? Huh? You say South Africa? Why South Africa? No. No. Mind you, nobody got their Bible on the temple too. No. All right. I left mine at home. You got it? Read that for him. Book of Galatians, chapter 4 and verse 20.